guys, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. So today, we're doing a slime shop review. I have a culmination, if you will, an assortment, a rather large debut. <laughs> what is happening to me of slimes in this video we have underrated we have famous we have everything in between we have undiscovered we have some unknown sellers in this video it's gonna be a culmination as i just said of slime shops in this video if you guys are excited and want me to do another slime shop review give this video to let's do a random number let's do like six thousand. 742 <laughs> likes. If that happens, I'm gonna do another one. If you guys are new here, subscribe down below and join the family. I also have a more lifestyle vlog channel that I do post my other stuff that I do that isn't slime on that channel. It's Nicole Jacqueline Vlogs. If you're curious, what does this girl on my screen do besides slime? Well, I'll have it down below for y'all. We are also currently live streaming right now on TikTok. I have been doing a lot of a lot more live streams lately on TikTok. I think it's such a fun platform. I have been living for the TikTok content. And I will also have my Instagram down below as well at Nicole Jacqueline and at Slime by Nicole Jacqueline. Go check it out. They're down below. I don't know why I keep doing the peace sign for. Is it like is it 2005 apparently. This video is about a lot of other slime shops, but I will have my slime shop down below as well. Shameless, actually shameful self promo, but like I have no shame in the game, okay? I will have my slime shop down below for you guys. We sell slime, clay, supplies, merchandise. We have t-shirts, we have amazing t-shirts. And sidebar really fast, I'm planning on doing a video really soon where I DIY my own merchandise and make it really different, like tie dye it, and do a bunch of different stuff with it. And if that goes well, I'm kind of thinking about tie dyeing my logo tees and selling those for you guys. And I'm, I would be hand, hand doing it myself, but it would be a really fun idea. So if you are, if that sounds fun to you or at all interesting, comment down below if you want that to happen because I could definitely tie dye some shirts and make a video about it, of course. And let's hop in to this famous underrated um, undiscovered, underrated, iconic slime shop. Review. All right, you guys. So this first slime is from Sonria Slime. And I actually was gifted this slime. This actually is an incredible slime. I am so obsessed with this, you guys. Um, I can't stop playing with it. It has such a thick texture. I've never touched a slime like this, which is saying a lot because I have touched a lot of slime in my days. This slime is a funfetti scented slime and it smells just like the real thing, you guys. I am so obsessed with this. When I say obsessed, I mean, I could not stop playing with this. This is the slime that I actually bought from her and then she included the previous slime with it because Honestly, this girl is a queen and I'm so thankful for that. I met her actually at Slime Bash. She's so sweet and it was everything. It is everything. It still exists. It is and will always be incredible. I love the scent of this. It smells just like real cookie dough and the texture is such an incredible buttery cloud cream mixture and the little chunks inside of it look just like real cookie dough. I can't get over this slime, it's incredible. And she actually just dropped a bunch of brand new slimes and I need to go pick them up honestly right now because they are so awesome. So I will have her slime shop down below. Next up, we have a slime from Slime by James. This is a tangerine DIY. Those first clips were before I went in and reactivated it because the base of it needed to be activated. That's because I've had these for over a month now and they've been just sitting and yeah. So that's on that. That's totally on me. So once I had this all reactivated, it was an amazing buttery iconic slime that had an amazing tangerine scent to it. Next up, we have watermelon slime. This is sparkling grapefruit boba. It is a thick bingsu bead slime. This slime is so good. And dare I say, one of my favorites because I don't know what it was, but just like the texture of this was just so thick and perfect. And the bingsu beads made it everything. I love this. It has a very refreshing scent as well. 
and I just love it. And I am pretty sure this is um, watermelon slimes and then mom watermelon on Instagram. Um, I love them so much from um, Slime Bash. They are an angel. They are angels. Both of them are an angel. <laughs> Next up, we have these these slimes from Firefly Slime. These are two waffle butter DIY waffle slimes. However, unfortunately, this is totally on me. When I was traveling back from Slime Bash, um, the little waffle portions, they opened up in my suitcase and they dried out. However, the base of this is still so phenomenal and I wanted to show you guys because it's still worth showing off and they're just honestly really nice and the smell of them is incredible. Now, I know it would have been everything and more if I had the little waffles and I'm so sorry they totally dried up, but you guys, they are honestly so gorgeous. I've been following Firefly Slime for years now and I remember her like viral seven layers of glitter video. If you guys remember that, comment down below. I will have her slime shop down below. Go buy her waffle butter slime DIY place because they are so cute and she deserves everything because I actually love her so much and I'm a longtime stan. <laughs> Next up, we have this slime from Puppy Dog Slimes. Now, this slime was just honestly so nice. I don't know what it was, but it was just had so many different kinds of add-ins that made it so crunchy and so beautiful, if I might say so myself. I love it so much, more than I thought I would. I was like, oh, this is a pretty slime, then I play with it, and I was like, oh my gosh. I'm obsessed. I just love how gorgeous it is, and it honestly just has a lot of really cool elements to it that I love. Next up, we have this slime from Ice Cream Slime, um, Ice Cream Slimes 0203. Now, this is the cutest little package ever. Thank you so much for the scrunchie and the little um, pop socket and little clays. That is so sweet of you. I seriously am so thankful, and I love the scrunchie and the pop socket so much. They are so cute. This is a little, like, cloud butter, it felt like, and I love the feeling of it. It's very relaxing. I just love the color also. It's just a really pretty red like pinkish red color that i am obsessed with so 10 out of 10 i love this so much you are the cutest next up we have another slime from watermelon slimes this is her taco loco fruity scented slime now this slime is so creamy so thick so great i just love it like i actually do and watermelon slimes actually gifted me and my assistant these really awesome sweatshirts that say, um, I dance loco, you dance taco loco, something like that, and they're the cutest thing ever. I seriously love it so much, and I wear it all the time. So definitely wanna peep it in my next video because I'll be wearing it all the time, and it's so cute. But yes, this slime is everything, and so, you guys know that my favorite type of slime is like a nice, thick and glossy slime, and this was just that and more for me. And it had a nice fruity scent, which I love. And then Watermelon Slimes also gifted my assistant one of these slimes as well that I'll be giving her ASAP. I completely forgot. This next slime is also from Puppy Dog Slimes. This next slime is from Puppy Dog Slimes as well. Had a really cute little charm attached to it and it was an absolute full flow and it was so pretty. I just love the like basic slime texture. Like a, I love a nice thick slime or a full flow. I just love those so much. They're just like very simple and but they're also very relaxing and very soothing this one was just so nice this next slime are from mix slime x slime x i believe and this slime was so pretty i love the bee combination with this beautiful base it was just everything it reminded me a lot of like a nerd's candy like a nerd's candy rope kind of like nerd's candy i'm not sure but i loved it so much Super crunchy and super pretty, super pretty. This next slime from Camilla is this really awesome DIY clay slime. And oh my gosh, can I just say that the clay that was on top of this was so awesome. I'm pretty positive Camilla's from Brazil. I'm pretty positive this feels like the Brazil clay and it feels like the same container that I get from Brazil sometimes. It feels like those as well. And I loved it. It was a really nice texture and super cute. This next one is from Coco and Giselle. 
This is a beautiful cloud slime. I cannot explain to you the scent of it. It smells like strawberry shortcake, honestly. And it is so delicious and is everything. I was honestly taken back by it because it was that beautiful and that smell just smelled so stinking good. I love this one. Cloud slimes have definitely grown on me. I was kind of skeptical for a while, but now I'm a huge fan of a good cloud slime. Comment down below your favorite cloud slime recipe. Let's do that, it'd be fun. These next slimes are all from Slime by James. And thank you so much, James, for giving me this amazing slime package. I am so thankful. I'll have all of, all of his stuff down below to check him out. This is a amazing chocolatey, buttery slime. And I it was just like in, obsessed with this, honestly. The scent of it was so nice. I love the texture. Like, honestly, you guys, a good butter slime can never be a bad choice of slime. This next one and excuse the cracked container that is totally from traveling totally on my part um not him of course <laughs> this is a super thick and glossy slime it feels like it was a clear and white glue like hybrid and i love the texture of it it is so nice it's called tangerine lana or not lana tangerine land it smells just like oranges it's so nice this next one is called grape soda bubble tape and you guys, I love, absolutely love a thick and glossy slime. Um, keep in mind that I just activated this one before I filmed it. So that's kind of why it's a little under glossy because I just reactivated it. And I would have done it sooner, but I had no idea that I probably should add a little bit in there for you guys. But it was honestly super nice. I loved it. I could not complain. This next one from him is called Blackberry Yogurt. And it was probably my favorite. It was so inflating too. I love a good cloud cream. I love the blackberry scent of this. And I also just love the name. So 10 out of 10, I thought it was awesome. And off the way, I will have everyone in this video linked down below. And I wanted to mention that this slime, I did not open or activate because I wanted to promote a video I'm filming very soon, which is gonna be a My Slime collection video. And I have to go through and reactivate a ton of slime. So I wanted to save that slime for that video. So definitely get hyped for that. Do another one. If you guys are new here, subscribe down below and join the family. I also have a more lifestyle vlog channel that I do post my other stuff that I do that isn't slime on that channel. It's Nicole Jaffin Vlogs. If you're curious, what does this girl on my screen do besides slime? Well, I'll have it down below for y'all. We are also currently live streaming right now on TikTok. I have been doing a lot of a lot more live streams lately on TikTok. I think it's such a fun platform. I have been living for the TikTok content. And I will also have my Instagrams down below as well, at Nicole Jacqueline and at Slime by Nicole Jacqueline. Go check it out. They're down below. I don't know why I keep doing the peace sign for. Is it like is it 2005 apparently. This video is about a lot of other slime shops, but I will have my slime shop down below as well. Shameless, actually shameful self promo, but like I have no shame in the game, okay? I will have my slime shop down below for you guys. We sell slime, clay, supplies, merchandise. We have t-shirts, we have amazing t-shirts. And sidebar really fast, I'm planning on doing a video really soon where I DIY my own merchandise and make it really different, like tie dye it, and do a bunch of different stuff with it. And if that goes well, I'm kind of thinking about tie dyeing my logo tees and selling those for you guys. And I'm, I would be hand, hand doing it myself, but it would be a really fun idea. So if you are, if that sounds fun to you or at all interesting, comment down below if you want that to happen because I could definitely tie dye some shirts and make a video about it, of course. And This time tomorrow I'll see the memory